is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here we'll talk about a few different horror topics in this video here today we'll talk about terrifier 3 friday the 13th which will take up a bulk of this video and we'll finish this by talking about alien earth now to start off here with terrifier 3 news started making the rounds or reports started making the rounds that ice nine kills had a song for terrifier 3 and a music video now we have confirmation from bloody disgusting that ice nine kills did in fact do an original song for terrifier 3 along with a music video they again confirmed this earlier today and gave more context it says here in this article the official music video will premiere at fantastic fest in austin texas on thursday september 19th along with the world premiere of course following the world premiere of terrifier 3 and will also play in select amc theaters nationwide for early preview showings on thursday october 10th it says here stay after the double feature for the special world premiere of a work of art from ice nine kills at participating amc theaters so i guess the song is called a work of art but the video itself is reportedly seven minutes long from what i recall being seen in this article me personally i want ice nine kills to do the soundtrack to every revived horror franchise because their music just makes me nostalgic for early 2000s horror in credits and their obsession with rock music just i just love what ice nine kills does when it comes to their music from what i have heard of them anyway because i don't listen to them a lot but rock music was definitely something i listened to a lot more of when i was younger because of the fact that it was so prevalent when i was a kid at the end credits of almost every major horror film that i still revisit to this day again the movie premieres this week at fantastic fest and early reactions will start to come online for anyone looking forward to that for anyone who's trying to avoid spoilers i've already been saying start muting words start discarding certain things start leaving certain groups do not open certain things and then be surprised when you see a spoiler because you will have no one to blame but yourself now let's talk about friday the 13th prequel show crystal lake at this same silver scream con event sean cunningham went over the future of the franchise and when we could expect this series plus more now this is again coming from bloody disgusting who reported it sean said last i heard they're talking about shooting it in australia at the end of this year and releasing on halloween 2025 but i've heard i've heard versions of that story for so long i don't put a lot of credibility into it there's just so many things that can go sideways some time ago the rights expired on the original script so then there became doubt about who owns what after 35 years that was being worked out by lawyers and we were trying to figure out what we were going to do we were trying to do a tv series which we actually got pretty far down the road on i was very happy with that i thought it was going to be a lot of fun and then the rights thing blew up and the tv series got postponed and then the pandemic arrived finally a24 decided that they would hook up with peacock and do a friday the 13th tv series they were gonna hire brian fuller a very good writer in the world of television the showrunner the main writer is the star that's the person you have to have complete faith in because it's not the ability to write one story it's the ability to tell a new story every week that's very very hard and very few people can do it brian got the job and it was greenlit it was going forward they started to set up the writer's room and they didn't like the road he was going down they felt it was going to be too dark so they abandoned it and then hired another writer brad caleb kane too dark yeah that's the one thing shout out to you jimmy because you pointed this out what is what were you expecting to go down in a friday the 13th show too dark I mean, if you're talking about Rob Zombie's Halloween 2 brutality type of stuff, maybe. But even still, what were you expecting from a Friday the 13th show? Now, he also went over a kill sequence from the scrap vision that Fuller had for this show. He said a bunch of kids, eight, nine years old, are out on the ice playing peewee hockey. One kid does a breakaway, skates down, and who's in the net but Jason. He tries to shoot. Jason blocks it. The kid who's trailing scores the goal and they go yay and jason's pissed he starts chopping at the kids and the ice starts to crack and then we cut out of that the explanation would be that the kids in the high school had shot this video as a joke and it was going viral on the internet but i thought it was so silly and so much fun i wish we gotten a chance to shoot it that does sound quite interesting i'm not gonna lie cunningham also teased a new video game he said there's always there always seems to be a desire to have another friday the 13th movie which would have a distinct life from the tv series for sure jason's gonna show up in more video games we had a really nice run with the first video game 2017's friday the 13th the game he concluded by saying there is more to come 
Honestly, discussing Jason in Friday the 13th is almost becoming as exhausting as talking about Jeepers Creepers. But even as someone who's not even the biggest diehard fan of Friday the 13th, what's becoming more frustrating about Jason is legal issues aside, there's nothing else holding him down at the bottom of that lake. There's nothing else holding him down as opposed to what's going on with Jeepers Creepers. There's just so much more of an opportunity for Jason to thrive. And knowing that he's not thriving is a little bit more bothersome because we also know that it could be quite easier for Jason to thrive. So hopefully this prequel show that's still being cooked up from Peacock is something that's serviceable and will keep fans engaged until the movie franchise is back up and running. Hopefully we get the video game back as well or at least a new video game. Something. Just do something of quality with Jason because I know those of you out there who are diehards, you let me know all the time when I talk about Jason and, the, and this franchise. You're tired of waiting. Like I mentioned, it's been so many years. Last time this movie franchise was around and popping, I was 11. I'm almost 30. Can we please get everything back together? I wish we got to see Brian Fuller's vision, but I'm also looking forward to seeing what we actually end up getting. I also don't know... Was it reported that Kevin Williamson is no longer involved? I wouldn't expect him to be involved if he was a part of the Brian Fuller vision, but time will tell if Kevin Williamson will still be involved. But now let's conclude this video here today by talking about Alien Earth. So Alien Earth creator Noah Howley teased a terrifying xenomorph moment we can expect during Alien Earth. This was reported by Deadline. I guess he gave a comment to them over the weekend at the Emmys. He said, there's something about seeing a xenomorph in the wilds of Earth with your own eyes that is truly chilling to think of it moving here among us and so i can't tell you under what circumstances you'll see that but you'll see it and you're going to lock your door that night which was really fun for me or what was really fun for me was to really engage with the creature bring some of my own thoughts to the design while not touching the silhouette because that's sacrosanct i think that's what that word is but some of the elements as we know Whatever the host is informs what the final creature is. I just wanted to play around a little bit to make it as scary as it should be. I'm glad he pointed out that silhouette because the silhouette featured throughout the franchise is one of the most scariest silhouettes in a horror franchise still to this day. The outline of the Xenomorph just always sends chills down my spine, especially if you're capturing it in the right way. But I look forward to seeing this music video for Terrifier 3. I look forward to seeing what becomes of Crystal Lake, and I look forward to seeing what becomes of Alien Earth. What do you guys think about this news that I have to share with you today? Let me know down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all of my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.